What's this I hear about you getting arrested? Uh, That's what I hear. Well, I guess we'll see. Do you know what they accusing me of, Joe? Probably something bad. Listen, I'm not scared of the slammer. Joe, I'm going to take over whatever uh, block they put me in. I'll make the slammer great again. I'll also be protected by the skinheads. Those people are bad. Do you know how long I'd last without them? Well, two hours. Really? I'm thinking less. You know what? Your hair is going to become a pot of clay in a jailer's hand when you're in prison. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, Let me tell you what's going to happen, Munchkin. I believe your hair will be manipulated with... It will be turned into cornrows. Sorry to tell you this. That's disgusting. Whatever it takes, though, to get some street cred in the slammer I'm in. I believe everyone knows the only streets you've roamed around in were Wall Street. Ouch, Joe, that's not nice. How is it you can't say one sentence during a speech without mumbling, but somehow you're blasting me with these big zingers? That's a good question, prison boy. Speaking of questions, do you think I should get some tattoos? Yes, for sure. Gee. You think something really cute above my ankle is enough? Like what? I was thinking of a baby image of Ivanka saying, Daddy, you make me happy. You insane? Okay, bad idea, I agree. Let's keep that concept between you and I. Frankie, don't be scared. Listen, you want me to come visit you in the slammer? You would do this? Is my wedding taxed because I'm a prophet? Joe, sentences. What was I saying? Oh, yes, mom, mom, most obviously I'm going to pay you a visit. Oh, gee, thanks, Joe. You just made me happy. For you? Anything. Just please don't bring Kamala Harris with you. If I hear her laugh while I'm in prison, I'm just going to go and hang myself. <laughs> yeah, I was ready. They didn't have my back. They were petty. I stayed in my back. On that petty, I brought it right back. Back of it. All right, y'all, before we get into Greg Guffield ending her career, that's literally the title of the video, too. But let's show some of our beautiful patriots off, man, that got their hats over the weekend. And uh, we've been sending out hats every single day. Just email me to win you one. And if I haven't responded back to you, email me again. But there's a lot of hats that got sent out this weekend, and we send them out every single day. But look at my beautiful patriots, man. My beautiful family members on the channel. Yes, indeed. Y'all are looking good, man. And this is a blessing, man. And again, there's tons of you guys that have gotten your hats and still haven't sent me a picture. And it's completely fine. You do not have to show your face or send a picture. But we want to put as much smiles on people's faces as we can, man. And this is what it's all about, you guys. You know, because we're going to crack open a cold one in November, whether you like it or not. You know, we've been covering all the corruption, election interference, everything that's going on, man. And... We're winning left and right. All these cases are collapsing. We're winning. We're breaking history rallies over a hundred thousand in the blues of the blues. I'm telling you, man. But uh, let's check this out. Uh, shout out to my brother Joel for sending this to me as well. Greg Guffield just ended her career, and I hope everybody is doing well, man. Everybody's blessed. Starting the week off right, Monday, baby. I hope y'all had an amazing Mother's Day. Love to our beautiful mothers out there. But let's go and jump straight in, man. And again, do not forget to email me. And if I haven't responded back to you, if you emailed me last week or a couple of days or even two weeks ago, email me again. There's a lot of y'all that got y'all hats and y'all emailed me a month ago and I responded to you after a month. It was crazy. But now I'm getting better. Even though I don't have a team behind me, it is just me. It's just me spreading all this love, y'all. So please. Um, bear with me. And like I say, if I haven't responded back to you in a couple days or even, you know, from however you want it, just send me another email. You know, just send me another email. Do not be afraid to reach out to me. You're not bugging me. You're not making me frustrated. Um, I love all, man. And we're going to continue to spread this love. And we want as many people to get a hat as we can and put as many smiles on people's faces. And we're even sending out T-shirts and banners and all kind of stuff like that. So don't be afraid to email me. But hey, let's check this out, man. Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Remember when Donald Trump said that they aren't bringing their best? That was, of course, key context that they omitted from his elevator speech, his infamous Trump Tower elevator speech, or rather, coming down the golden escalator speech. Whatever, you guys know what I mean. You know, for some reason, that was a part that the left really didn't want to include in their coverage. And maybe, just maybe, it's due to the fact that that might be a little bit of a soft point, a little bit of a sensitive point for the left at large, because I guess that statement or that sentence also seems to apply to them. And all of their ideological representatives in the media, they're a bunch of freaking clowns. They're not exactly bringing their best. 
And that, of course, is why we have this ongoing segment, The Left Says the Craziest Things. Let's take a look at what these leftist nutcases in the media are saying this time. This one brought to you guys by Fox and Friends, with Greg Gutfeld, Jesse Waters, and crew. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, apologies in advance. You're about to hear one of the most disingenuous talking points ever uttered from a human being. January 6th was encouraged by Donald Trump. When he said peaceful? When he said, go down to the Capitol, I'm going to be with you. Be peaceful. All of his... All of his why, do you, why do you avoid that? Because, Greg, that does not erase the months of rhetoric where he was encouraging groups to protest the results Peacefully? of this election. No, no, you, no, 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 you, no, no, you no, hate, no. You hate the he words took that away, he says. He took away the... You, you hate a lot... No, I'm actually, say, I'm actually saying what he you said. You ignore many of the words he said. And, and to, to, to bring this to today, though, mm -hmm. the comparison... One of the reasons these protesters are out in the streets is Joe Biden is standing squarely by Israel. Joe Biden, John Fetterman, Tony Blinken, these are the people in the administration who are standing so squarely by Israel that a lot of progressives are angry at them. So the difference is Donald Trump encouraged political violence from his supporters on January 6th. No, he didn't. And Joe didn't Biden, prove that. And Joe Biden is doing something these protesters are angry about because he's refusing to back away from Israel. And the one question he answered when he gave remarks last week was... I can already see the comments now. <laughs> I can already see my beautiful patriots now. Oh, one thing about Greg, though. A lot of y'all, like I said, we sitting in the comments. I don't even... I, I, if, if it wasn't for Greg, I still wouldn't be even watching Fox. <laughs> or The Five. I wouldn't even be watching The Five if it wasn't for Greg. Yeah, we get a lot of praise on, on Greg, man, in the comment section. Have these protests changed your policy? And he said, no. I don't think Trump <laughs> ever encouraged people to get in other people's faces. He Democrats did. did. No, he didn't. 100%. Show right. me that. What are we going to dub this? CNN brain? MSNBC brain? Where leftists essentially formulate talking points and arguments based on totally false premises, omitting key facts, or in this case, a key portion of the relevant quote, Donald Trump told people to march to the Capitol. Well, I think you're missing an important point there. You know, the part where he said peacefully. Oh, well, that doesn't matter because of his pattern of behavior. Could you imagine being a defendant sitting in a courthouse and you hear from the prosecution side, well, it doesn't matter if there's evidence exonerating this individual, Your Honor. Just look at the whole history. What history exactly? Well, you know, this person is someone that we don't like, Your Honor. And they've said things that are spooky and offensive. Therefore, disregard the exonerating evidence and just apply a twisted, corrupt, bias, vengeful approach and simply just find the person guilty because we find that person to be reprehensible. You know, it doesn't get any more dishonest than that. The left operates within a world of hoaxes and lies, lying by omission. Donald Trump called white supremacists very fine people, with his very fine people on both sides hoax. They still say this. But then, of course, when you add the relevant context that Donald Trump explicitly said, and I'm not referring to the neo-Nazis and white supremacists, and when you confront some of these people with the clear facts, with the clear record, they double down on the dishonesty. Absolutely insane. And this isn't just any leftist. This is a leftist on Fox News, someone who has supposedly made it to the upper echelons of political analysis and commentary, and this is the argument in 2024 that Donald Trump incited a violent insurrection, that he sent his MAGA chud army to the steps of the Capitol to overthrow the U.S. government by telling people to peaceably assemble and peacefully and patriotically have their voices heard. How many times do we have to freaking fact check the exact same thing? A little bit of a broken record here, but come on. How many times do we need to clarify the record? Mm. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. How many times have we fact-checked this, yet these people continue to go on? Look, I'm just gonna say it, only bad people act like that. Only truly dishonest, disingenuous, horrifying liars would act in this manner. But of course, it's not just the lies by omission, it's not just the purposeful twisting of context. 
No, of course, it goes even beyond that. It's also the clear, again, extremely dishonest double standard. Well, Joe Biden didn't tell anybody to go protest. They're protesting against him. That's the clear differentiating factor between left-wing protests and right-wing protests. Give me a break. You know, leftists go on and on about how Donald Trump was so slow on the day, on January 6th, to condemn the violence. It took him an hour to release a message. Oh, an hour, you say? Interesting. It took Joe Biden over a hundred days in the summer of 2020 to release a totally pathetic, weak condemnation of political violence, not to mention his vice presidential candidate, his then vice presidential candidate, launched a frickin' bail fund to get criminal rioters out of prison. The country was being burnt down to the ground by leftist agitators, and Democrats were fundraising to get them out of jail to put them right back on the streets to reoffend, to do it again, to burn another neighborhood down to smither frickin' reins. Oh, but there's a clear distinction between Donald Trump and the Democrats. Yeah, it's just not the distinction that leftoids pretend it is. It's quite the opposite. Donald Trump has a track record of calling for the rule of law. Trump was the guy trying to send in the National Guard to protect cities, to protect neighborhoods from radical, out-of-control left-wing terrorists. And you leftoids are the ones who are saying stuff like, it's reparations, or it doesn't matter if buildings and businesses get trashed and burnt down to the ground or looted. They all have insurance. That's what you guys were saying. But Donald Trump apparently is the one who incited a mob. He incited a mob by doing what exactly? Let's let the genius left-wing commentator speak for herself. Go down to the Capitol. I'm going to be with you. Be peaceful. All of, all of his... Why do, you, why do you avoid that? Because, Greg, that does not erase the months of rhetoric where he was encouraging groups to protest the results Peacefully. of this election. Donald Trump incited violence by calling on his voters to protest what they believed and what they perceived was an illegitimate process. And that's apparently grounds for incitement to violence. No, that's calling for protests. And again, calling for people to peacefully and patriotically assemble so they can have their voice heard. Only a horrifyingly dishonest leftist can be this much of a liar, this much of a hypocrite, can apply this much of a dishonest double standard. Good on Greg Gutfeld for interjecting I, I with the facts I, I always... here. Holy freaking moly. Leftists say the darnest things, now don't they? Anyways, oh. that's... Oh man, what do you guys think, man? Uh, let me go to the... I got. Y'all know I gotta do it, man. Y'all know I gotta do it, man. You know, she's a liar without ethics. Uh, that woman is a pure liar, pure and simple. Greg Gutfeld is the best thing on Fox News. I already know how the I told you I already knew how the comments are going to be. It took Nancy Pelosi 80 minutes to answer a call for, for the National Guard. <laughs> oh man, Trump should, should sue people like her for defamation. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. She deserves a lawsuit. For real. Another reason to vote Trump in 2024. Mm. We are all sick of this, and I'm voting for 2024. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. But hey, y'all comment down below. Drop a like on the video, man. And we're going to keep calling it out for what it is, man. We're going to keep spreading the truth. And we're going to keep spreading the love, you guys. But do not forget to email me. Um, again, we're sending out hats every single day. We are loving on our family members on the channel. And we're going to continue to spread that love, you guys, whether you like it or not. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day, rest of the week, rest of the month. That 2024 treats you well. And in November, we're going to crack open a cold one. I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.